Hi, this is Ace Al, and this is Funday Monday Rejects. Uh, isn't that nice? In the Day 9 clan, with the Floating 9, we have me trying to Funday, and look at this. Very appropriate dialogue. He should know exactly what's happening, because at this point, this was right after it was announced. Funday Monday topic is Terrans lifting their buildings and putting them in the opponent's base. But no, he looks like he's a good sport. We have our antagonist, Free GG GZA. Uh, when I said this was after Funday Monday was announced, that was on a Tuesday. And I feel so bad lying to this guy, saying that I'm in Antarctica to justify why I think it's Monday. And I, I hope he doesn't believe me. I felt so bad that, you know, there's a possibility that he'd go into work the next day in Spain or somewhere and say, oh, I played a guy from Antarctica on ladder last night. That was fun. And no, I was lying. Don't believe a word I say, please. Chance of him being in Spain is somewhat high because this is actually played on the European League. That's where I have the floating nine. That's where I keep my MMR low so I can do stuff like this. And of course, that reveals to you the real problem. Because the Funday Monday rejects, so far it's been consistent. I can fully agree why they, with them not being spot chosen. There are problems. I mean, this game, it is a bit funny that I seem to be pretending that I'm Protoss. Build our pylon here, proxy to gate. It's the perfect build unless they scout. Um... But, yeah, I was taking this one way too seriously. It's Fun Day Monday. It's learn to dick around and have fun. And apparently dicking around and having fun is just not in my makeup. The most I can do is bring out some really cheesy strategies. And, oh, drop the surround. First blood. The psychological edge that you need. And yeah, just a little too aggressive with my dicking around, trying to win. This is a... This is this is actually one of my serious Terran cheeses, and probably shouldn't be. It's not, not that great, but it's way too serious for Fun Day Monday still. Um, he scouted into the nothing in the base, probably confused him, but now he found it. And this is where things get try-hard, because this isn't just a, ha ha, my buildings are in your base. This is a carefully calculated cheese. We build the barracks nearby, then we move them to form a wall. And that wall protects our marines as we build up a critical mass. And once we have a critical mass of marines, no number of zerglings is gonna help. Oh, look! The bunker's down here! Obviously, the proxy marines are gonna walk up this ramp. Why don't you try and stop me? <laughs> And there we go, the workers pulled in a diversionary bunker, while we all know the real bunkers up here next to the proxy marines. And that's now spotted, but if he gets that overlord... Can we get the overlord? I don't think so, but it's gonna be close. No, nope, overlord's fine. Marines covering the bunker from behind the barracks wall. I guess this also might have just been some sort of attempt to atone for my horrible Sim City, where I practically did the same thing in an ASGL match, except I was Zerg, and I built the buildings to wall in the drop marines. It was so sad. And we've got the bunker, we've got the wall opened up. This is gonna be hard to recover from. Of course, remember that the bunkers can never be close enough to actually threaten the hatchery directly, but the marines darting forward and then darting back does get quite annoying very quickly. Trying to stop that bunker. We're at under a second from completion but the marines have just reached this critical mass critical mass and once they've got that critical mass built up because they have a wall to hide behind it's tough and now this bunker prevents reinforcements easily just go to town take out this entire base but let's see let's see we're not trying hard enough that the marines don't get downtime they can feel good about themselves uh, spine car defense against marines is tough. You're used to using spine cars to defend against zealots or zerglings who have no range, and the fact that spine crawler has range is just so epic, but no. No marines have range, and then you're kinda screwed. And here it goes, spine crawler trying to root again, but no, the hatchery's down, and this is no longer a strategic location. So sorry. Bunker covering his own retreat path towards his natural. This guy's getting cheese pretty hard. 
appears that some Zergling run by is not enough to count their SCVs. And there you have it, the relatively serious cheese of the proxy flying bunker, uh, flying barracks into Bunker Rush. And I'm not sure what the command center here is in NATO, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. Once you've successfully defeated your opponent's main with an aggressive proxy building cheese, always take it as your own by building your own command center or nexus. And then he has to defend his natural against his main, which is always really tough. Terrain just isn't built that way. Spine crawler defense. Hmm, might be something. Again, with the Ling run buys, there is nothing here at the base. This could do something. In fact, I think it does. Yes, I'm giving up. I don't need this base. I've got your base. SCVs, all going to die. That's fine. I'll just move over here with this lovely base that you have so generously provided. So sad, though. I can't load the SCVs into the Orbital Command. That's the drawback of upgrading to an Orbital Command, and that's why you see many savvy Bronze League players not getting the Orbital Command upgrade. If you have to flee, that's five fewer SCVs to rebuild with. It's just not worth it. And there we go. We're going to move to take your gold. Barracks rewalling. It has been a theme in my Fun Day Mondays recently. The walls are by barracks and the supply depots are just sort of out of the way. Don't worry about them. Yes, they can lower themselves. That's just a gimmick. Lifting is the way that walls work. Maybe it shows my classic Brood War heritage, but it was only in the very final days of Brood War, a few months before StarCraft II came out, that I realized you could build walls in Brood War. I've been Zerg and rushing everyone at my pathetic little level until then, and then at one point I played someone who I can't get into his base? What? Fortunately, I knew it the whole time in StarCraft II, and this barracks wall super effective against Zerglings, especially once the Marines move down. And we've kind of lost the momentum here. Just securing his main against his natural, those flying buildings... Proving that you can take Funday Monday seriously, but it's not as entertaining as when you just fly over. Bit of a pause. The please poetry came in. Ooh. <laughs> not enough Banelings for that charge, but now. Now, looks like one of our players has to leave, and the other one is just charging recklessly as well. Oh, well, the game's been fun. You don't have to stick around. Crazy game. Not crazy enough. I do need to apologize for taking Fun Day Monday seriously. <laughs> My opponent really did have to go. That wasn't cheesy. But there you have it. The alright, kind of serious if you're in Silver League proxy two racks floating wall cheese. Which... You know, when you want to take floating your building seriously, I recommend it. When you don't want to take things seriously, watch Fun Day Monday on Day 9's channel. But thanks for watching this one. It was still somewhat amusing, especially at the beginning there. And, but now, we're done. <laughs>